Well, we think the uh, the Fox uh, transaction uh, is a is a win for for Disney, is is a win for Fox, and and clearly a, a win for our businesses. I think the assets that Disney will get uh, uh, will will strengthen ESPN, will strengthen the whole entertainment group, which would include our joint venture with them with A and E. Uh, will definitely help the ABC uh, uh, network and our stations. We have 14 ABC stations. So I, I think it's just another uh, great move uh, by our partner, Bob Iger. In, in, when did you hear about it? Did you hear about the same time the rest of us did, or did you know a little same bit time, advanced? Same time the rest of us did. And in terms of that going through, do you think it's likely to happen? Does it matter if it doesn't? I, yeah, I'm, I'm not good at predicting these things, but I, I can't imagine that, that it won't go through. Let's talk about ESPN, because that's been such a big part of, of the strength of Disney for a long time and with your holdings, too. You've talked about how it's a very important brand. Um, it has come under some tough times. Where do things stand right now? Well, there's no question that 2017 was a tough time, really, for most uh, uh, consumer media brands and, and certainly for ESPN. But uh, I think that ESPN has a lot of momentum. Going into 2018, the uh, Disney's acquisition of a majority stake in BAMTech from the Major League Baseball, I think, gives us a powerful platform. We're going to be rolling out ESPN Plus, uh, more games, more other premium content to the super fan, and we're excited about that. Can you speak to um, the resignation of, of, of Skipper? Running, running ESPN? Do you know anything about that beyond what we've read? I, I don't know anything beyond what, what Bob Iger said, what John Skipper uh, uh, said. I uh, uh, have nothing but the highest admiration for John and, and for what he did for ESPN, and we wish him well. But you recognize well. most people inside and outside of ESPN look at that situation of, him, of his resignation and think that there's something a miss about it. There was just a piece in the Hollywood Reporter yesterday right. about it, suggesting mm -hmm. that the timing of it, uh, certain comments that uh, Skipper had said even days before about being all in this together, about wanting to be there for years and years, and then all of a sudden this happening. Also, the statement it said, itself said that he had this addiction for a long time. Did you know about that addiction? No, clearly, clearly not. But look, uh, you know, I, I think if you look at uh, uh, Disney, uh, Bob Iger, his, right. his long record, uh, uh, John's long record, uh, um, you know, uh, I think uh, what they said is, is what actually happened. Steve, do you, do you think that if I were, if I owned ESPN, you know, I watched the, the Georgia Oklahoma game. Sports is better than ever. And, and you know, it looks live and, and you get to have live, live TV. So I'm, I'm so bullish on sports. Now, they can't always run games, obviously. So they got to have those talk shows. But do they have to be so, uh, I mean, they're, 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 they get a little bit political and it's always from one side of things. And it's irritated me in the past. Couldn't you just tweak? Well, sorry about that. Couldn't Joe. you I, tweak ESPN I, I a little so we'll, that it, it, it's a little bit not quite as, uh, you know, there's times when it's like, I'm changing this. Well, I can't. fortunately, I'm not running ESPN. I, I, no, I know, I, but you I, know I, what I'm I, saying. I it's think, easily fixable. I, I it's easily it, fixable uh, if you don't. Look, I think, I think they're innovating every day. I think they've been trying not to add more politics, but to add, add more voice. Well, they haven't succeeded. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, sometimes with voice, uh, you get strong opinions. Just like here. Just like um, here. You look at the <laughs> we, once in a while, we have the other side. You, you, look, you I mean? look at the AT&T Time Warner transaction. You think that should go through? I, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not a, uh, I'm not a regulator, so I'll, I'll let. Yeah, but I'll a regulator might, by the way, might come decision. to a company like yours and say, "Do you have an anti-competitive problem with this transaction?" So do you? Well, look, we, we, we work with both sides, right. and, and I, I, I don't have a, I don't have an opinion on it. Do you think that the Disney Fox transaction uh, could raise prices? I mean, part of the strategy. Do you think that part of the strategy is to ultimately be able to raise prices on consumers? Uh, no, I, I think part of the strategy is to be able to put better programming on the air to unite, uh, say, the Fox uh, uh, studios with the great Disney distribution, with the great right. Disney brands. I think if you look at Bob Iger's career, he's just been adding great brands and great talent to Disney. And this is another attempt to add great talent to the Disney portfolio. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.